wonderfully, beautifully, perfectly made. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Shantae. In today's video, I'm going to give you a few ideas on how to be the best dressed at your Christmas party. So I've got all these dresses here, including this jumpsuit, all from Club L London. I've got some feathers, some sparkle, there's a little bit of glitter as well. If feathers, sparkle and glitter isn't really your thing, I've got a few more simple looks here that you can elevate by adding the right shoes and the right accessories. So if you want to get a few tips and tricks on how to be the best dressed at your next event, keep on watching and let's get into it. Starting strong, we've got this asymmetric one shoulder jumpsuit, which I absolutely love. It's figure hugging and it's nice. It's got super long legs. So if you are a tall girl, you can definitely wear this jumpsuit with some heels. So I personally have put these statement earrings in. So I'll come a bit closer so you can have a look. So these cute statement earrings. So I'd wear it with something like this, and then I'll also wear a nice bracelet or bangle, which I'm gonna grab now. And then I've got these bangles here, which I'm wearing. I'd keep the neck nice and simple because I feel like the asymmetric is just doing what it needs to do. It's giving what it needs to give, so you don't really need to add anything that's gonna draw attention from the lovely structure that we have going on here. So bangles, put them on. So you can wear it on either side, I'll put them on the left side because if you feel like it's a bit plain, there's not much going on, you'd wear it here. But if you really wanted to keep all of the attention on the one asymmetric side, you could easily switch it over. So I'll put it on this arm so I can show you and I'll take a step back. So this is with the bangle on the sleeve side. Again, really nice. This is with the bangle on the plain side so you can wear it on either side and it still looks really good now in terms of shoes i'd wear like a gold strappy shoe or maybe like a nude pointy shoe so i'll show you i've got some shoes here so i've got these lovely gold i've also got these nude shoes as well nude i've got gold both strappy both high heels if you can't walk in a high heel that's absolutely fine you can wear something smaller if you don't like your toes out as well i've also got this pointed shoe it's a lower heel but it will still get the job done so i'll put these on now you can have an idea of what the outfit looks like together along with a bag that i'm also going to show you this lovely black bag with gold hardware which looks really nice it elevates the look and makes you look really clean so for shoes i'd probably keep them pointy because you've got the wide leg on the jumpsuit a pointy shoe always looks really well with this. The jumpsuit with the pointed shoe, as I said. Now, to finish the look off, I'd have a black bag like this. Really classy, really elevated, and a little bit expensive as well. Probably wouldn't carry the bag like this though. I probably would just carry it in my hand like so. Or if you really want to add like a pop of colour, which would look really nice and again, keep it expensive, I'll go with this here. This bustle or emerald green kind of colour. Again, it just looks nice. So when you wear it all black, you have a pop of colour in the bag, pop of colour on the shoe, or even like a pop of colour on the lips. It would look really nice and it kind of draws the outfit together and finishes it off nicely. So again, Black or green bag, either one will do. So let's get on to the next item. I've got this dress up next, it's lovely. It's got this bat wing kind of look. And it falls really nicely, it moves really nicely as well. Now this is for someone who doesn't really want to show any skin, because you're fully covered from the head pretty much down to your ankles. It's quite, I would say quite modest, but probably not on me, because it is quite figure hugging. I felt that the dress a lot more than I was expecting because if you look at the model, I'll insert a photo here. If you look at how it looks on her, it's a bit more swishy and fun, whereas on me it's really fitted. I'm wearing a size 10 and I was expecting it to look like that. So I think if I went up a size or two, I'd probably get the same effect. I've kept in those same statement earrings from earlier and I've added a chain this time. You could wear the gold bangles that I had on as well if you wanted to, but I've just kept it quite simple this time around. I'd go for a strappy shoe like this in nude 
and a nude bag. So this is the outfit head to toe with the nude heels on, as you can see. Really nice. Could be battle wings if you wanted to go dancing all night as well. Be nice and great. For bags, I would style it with something nude. So you've got the nude matching the shoes, of course. And then you've got the gold, which ties in with the gold accessories or jewellery. So here it is. Really nice, really lovely. You could also carry it like under your shoulder like this as well. So we are onto the glitter, the sparkles and the feather dresses now. So I'm wearing this lovely dress, sequins, feathers, beautiful. This is by far my favourite out of all of them. I am obsessed, I love it, love it. I would wear the same heels that I just had on the nude ones. I've got them on still, so I'll take a step back. Because when you wear the nude heel with a dress that has a lot going on with the sequins and the feathers, you don't want to take away from that by adding like shoes that are going to catch your eye. I feel like the dress does enough on its own. Now for bags, if you really want to just up the look even more and take it to the next level, I go for something sparkly and cute like this. So I'll come closer. So this gorgeous bag here, but I probably wear it with the strap on the inside because it's gold. And the reason for that is because I'm thinking silver accessories and with the diamante glitter, it looks kind of silvery pinky anyway. So I'd wear it with that and then these earrings here. So some really cute sparkly earrings. But let me step back and show you the full outfit. I mean, how gorgeous is this? So with the bag, the dress and the heels all together. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we've got this gorgeous metallic champagne gold dress, which I absolutely love. So it's nice, it's fitted, it makes my body look really juicy as you can see. It is backless. I will show you a picture of it on the model here. So yeah, it is a bit loose fitting on the top for me. Um, so I'll probably have to size down. Because it's stretchy, I think I could size down, it would still fit and give me room to like move and walk. I've got the gold statement earrings in that I had earlier, along with the gold dainty necklace. And for accessories, I'd wear the diamond tea bag that I showed you earlier. I would of course wear it with the strap out this time, because it just makes sense, you know, with the gold and the gold. I've also put on these strappy gold shoes, as I mentioned, so let's step back and show you the full look. You could even wear it with the nude shoes that I wore with the other two dresses. It would still keep the attention on the dress and the accessories and it wouldn't catch your eye. Not that the gold catches your eye too much, it just works because it's all metallic. But that's also another option for you. This is the final look out of all of them. I am obsessed with this one also. It's so nice, it's just as nice as the white one but it's longer. This dress also comes in that length. And I think this strength also comes in this length. So if you like the look of the dress, but you want something longer or shorter, there is an option for that. And I think there's a few other colors in both of these dresses as well. Links will be in the description anyway. But let's talk about how I've styled this one. I've gone back with my gold chain. I've put the statement earrings back in also because it is this kind of top keeping the neck bare sometimes it's nice to add a little something to it so you might want to add like a really big chain or you may want to do something cute and dainty i've gone for cute and dainty you could put on wings or bangles but i'm going to keep it really simple now for the bag you could do two options i've kept the same nude shoes on so i will show you each bag so you can have a look back to the black bag that i showed you at the beginning it's black with gold hardware. I think that looks really nice. It ties the look in together. And because it's a dark dress, a dark bag does make sense. However, if you wanted to add a bit of colour, you could do this. And then use the green bag that I showed you earlier as well. Because it's green, it just makes sense. It goes. It looks expensive. 
It's got the gold in it again, just like I said earlier with the jewellery, the accessories. The dress is figure hugging, as you can see, it's really nice, it sucks you in nicely. It's wonderfully, beautifully, perfectly made. It's definitely worth the money, 100%. To be honest, I think all the dresses that I've tried on and the jumpsuit is worth the money because it's great quality fabric, it's got weight to it as well, which is what you want. So, um, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it with your friends as well. I know there's a lot of people that don't know much about this brand, but I feel like everyone needs to know it because it's just that good. So share this video, your friends, your family members, whoever's looking for an event dress or a jumpsuit. If you don't like any of the items that I've showed you today, still have a look on the Club Hour website because they've got so many options. They've got dresses, jumpsuits, lots of different lengths, lots of different body types and sizes. So I'm sure if you didn't like these, you'll find something on there that you love. But um, yeah, thank you for watching guys and um, hopefully you'll see me soon. Bye!